today we're going to talk about something that I don't normally discuss on this channel, politics. But you guys know that there's one issue that really concerns me, and that's right to repair. And right now is your chance to have your voice heard to the Federal Trade Commission. And that's what we're going to discuss coming up next, right here on Better Biomed. Hey guys, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today, maybe not the most exciting topic unless you are an involved person, we're going to talk about politics and how you can have your voice heard right now. There is an active petition that you can voice your concern. And that's what we're asking you to do. We need help. So guys, let's go ahead and let's take a look over at regulations.gov. You guys should hopefully get familiar with this website because this is the one place where you can type in on any of these political topics that are up for comment, your opinion, and you can be heard. So let's go ahead and let's take a look. All right, guys, so don't worry about the link to this page. It's going to be down below in the video description where you can go in, add your comments about the right to repair. It's all gonna be down below. Don't worry, I did the work for you. So guys, this is a petition that is put out by PIRG, P-R-R-G, and I fix it. It's a petition about consumer interests and the future of right to repair, all right? So basically the way that it works with the federal government is when there's a petition out there, there's a certain period, usually around 30 days, where people are allowed to contribute, and that is whether or not an action is gonna be taken on a petition. So they're gonna read through the comments, see what people have to say, and from that, they're going to make a, hopefully, good judgment. <laughs> However, guys, we have currently 1,220 some comments on this as, as we speak. And the problem is, is the deadline's coming up pretty quick. It's the 2nd of February, I believe. So what I'm asking you to do is click on the link down the video description below, go in there, and this isn't just for medical, guys. This is for all consumer electronics. This is for the future of you and your affiliation with anything you want to repair. We are hoping that the Federal Trade Commission will consider the future and how we have rights to our own property. We have rights, and that is basically what we're asking for. Now, I'm not going to read this entire thing for you, but you can go through and read it yourself. All right. But let's go ahead and let's just, uh, let's take a look at the summary. Okay. So right here in the summary, let me, let me scroll down so that you guys don't see my head. <laughs> All right. It says, please take notice that the federal trade commission received a petition for rulemaking from the U S public interest research group education fund perg and I fix it. That's a mouthful, isn't it? The petition requests that the commission initiate a rulemaking to protect consumers' rights to repair products that they have purchased. You have rights to your own products. The commission invites written comments concerning the petition. Publication of this petition is pursuant to the commission's rules of practice and procedure and does not affect the legal status of the petition or its final disposition. Dates. You have until February 2nd. All right. You have, it's coming up. And, and that's why I'm doing this video is because I want to get this information out there. Everybody should be contributing. I mean, if even just every single shop that repaired electronics commented, we'd be way over the 1,220. We'd be way over that. And guys, we have like 20,000 people that fix medical equipment alone in this country. And we only have a thousand comments. So please guys. So addresses, you may view the petition identified in the docket number FTC-2023-0077 and submit written comments concerning its merits by using the Federal Trade Commission portal, which I'm going to leave a link to. And the way that you do this is up here at the top. You see it's got this little comment box right here. Next to that, you can see view more documents where you can see original content, original materials. And uh, over here, you can see view related content and browse Posted comments. 
so you can read them. You can see what other people are saying. So let's go ahead. You can go click on the comment. You see, it's very simple. They made this so easy for you. Right here, you want to come up with, you know, a, a pretty good description of why you feel you should be able to fix your own medical equipment or your own stuff. I want to fix my own phone. I want to get my own parts without having to struggle to get them from the OEM. So all that we're asking for, basically, is to be able to obtain training and to obtain parts in an economical fashion. Now, that is a broad spectrum. I understand that. However, I don't believe that a touchscreen that they're probably sourcing from China should be retailing at $800. Not when they're buying it for $35. Now, I understand proper markup, risk, etc. Maybe $100, $200. But when I say economical option, that means make it available. Make sure that training is available along with service materials, documentation. And, you know, let's, let's set up stores out there so we can get parts. Very similar to another industry I know, the automotive industry. I know medical equipment is not cars. However, that's not really what we're asking here. We're asking for a path to a solution. And right now, we don't have a path to a solution. If anything, the industry is kind of constricted and our rights and ability to repair us, it's gotten worse. It has progressively gotten worse and this industry has relied heavily on the high markups associated with those repairs and flat rate repairs. Flat rate repairs. I've had to pay $8,000 for just a cracked touchscreen encoder, which is about a $35 part. $8,000 I've had to pay for that. For power buttons on devices, I've had to pay $3,000 for flat rate repairs on power buttons to change out batteries in some devices because it's just a battery, a coin cell battery. Certain device manufacturers have charged $3,000 flat rate to change out a tiny little coin cell battery. Enough is enough, guys. So, I'm asking for you guys, please click the link down below. Leave your comments. You can leave them for or against. I don't care, but please leave your comments. And the FTC is going to be reading through those in just a couple days' time. So good luck, guys. Let's get our voices heard. This is your chance, man. Let's make a difference.